Hi, and welcome to another episode of PC Brain Video Tutorials. Today we're going to be doing a software tutorial on the Pair to Logic PC Health Advisor, a really excellent tool for overall computer maintenance and uh, upkeep. All in all, a really good one-click tool that basically will clean up your registry, defrag your hard drive, clean up junk files, temporary files, and keep your computer running in tip-top shape. Now, the really cool thing about the PC Health Advisor in comparison to other tools like this is it will actually check your hardware drivers as well, and it will actually uh, let you know when there are driver updates available. So it's a really, really good tool for general PC maintenance, maintenance, and it pretty much can cover all aspects of your computer besides security, such as antivirus tools. The main aspect of the program is this main home screen here. And you'll notice that there's a big, huge button here that says click to start scan. And what that will do is that will scan all aspects of the computer that PC Health Advisor covers. Um, you can change what's done in the scan in your settings menu and then you go to scan settings and right here it will check the four different options that it will check during the scan so let's go ahead and run a scan here now what this is doing is it's doing its first option here which is the registry it's going to scan the registry for any errors or issues that are in there and right now it found uh, 40 items 40 plus almost 50 um, in the registry and then after that it's going to scan the device drivers it's going to start the the running process scan so now it's moving on to the driver section it's checking the hardware drivers that's a quick process and found no problems there it's checking the running processes and it's doing the privacy settings okay so here is a general summary of what it found registry, privacy files, active processes that are running. Um, so what it's doing is it's automatically making selections based on its intelligence, its artificial intelligence on what is the proper setting for you. But if you wanted to go into, let's say, uh, the registry, and we only wanted to only do the file and path reference entries in the registry, all these, then all we would need to do is just uncheck the other entries and then we'll go back here and as you can see the 25 from that one section are selected the rest are not you can click each green button here to actually do each of these processes separately if I wanted to just do the registry or you can click the big green fix all to fix all the problems all at once found no problem with drivers and it found no malware on the computer Startup processes, it has one suggestion, and then it has one suggestion about uh, running programs that are running right now. So, let's go back to the home screen here, and you'll notice here, each of those different sections can be accessed separately. Under Optimize, again, a lot of the same tools like the Process Manager is going to be available through here. Browser Object Manager, that's basically your browser plugins. File Extension Managers, you can change your file ex extensions and your default programs. Startup Manager, you find this all over the place in many different programs. It's another way that you can manage your startup applications on the computer. If we go over to the disk setting here, Duplicate Finder will find duplicate files stored on your hard drive. Here you can manage your Windows Restore Points and do a defrag of your hard drive. Also here you can clear your computer and browser history and clear your computer's temporary files. Now these are things that you can all do one at a time whereas if you just click again the main PC Health Advisor scan button it'll do it all in one swoop. Let's go to the settings here. General settings are just going to be basic stuff. Things like this, launch application with when Windows starts, start a scan when the program opens, do you want to create a restore point every time before it starts doing its cleaning? Right here, this checkbox, display available exit actions when close, clicking the close button. So let's check this box 
and then we'll click the close button and you'll notice we'll ha now have an option it'll ask us what it wants to do when we click the close button other options that are here are just basic options and you can look at them about the defrag unknown file types etc let's go back to our main settings here Scan schedule, you can set up when you want it to run a scan, or if you don't want it to run at all, you can delete it out of here, like this, delete. Registry settings, basically what parts of the registry do we want to look at when we scan the registry. Ignore settings, basically, do you want to ignore certain files. Defrag schedule, to put your defragmentation on a schedule. Your privacy settings, basically what temporary and private files do you want it to clear out driver update settings basically where do you want to download the drivers to when you download the new drivers home screen settings is basically you can customize the way that you want your home screen to look so when we're on the home screen there's these buttons here we can go into here and actually change it around and put whatever we want on the main home screen really cool feature there Scan settings again, like we looked at before, lets you choose what you want to scan. So once again, for PC Brain, this is Matt, reviewing Paratologic PC Health Advisor, a really, really good application if you just want a basic, basic tool to make sure that your computer is running in tip-top shape, all your junk files, private files are cleared out of the system, your registry is in good working order, checks for malware, does disk defragmentation, pretty much does it all at a very, very fair price. So you can download the software right now. There's a download link right on this page. And also, register right here is to actually get the full version of the program so you can actually let it do its work. Till next time, again, for PC Brain, take care.